Hello everyone and welcome to some Mr. FPGA news. Because of some time constraints, this week's video will be dedicated to talking about the E10 Nano alternatives. One of the things taking up my time this week has been testing out the QM Tech DE10 Nano clone, in which a video should be coming out later this week. I'll make sure to catch up with the rest of the news in next week's video. Also, check out my channel sponsor, Mr. Add-ons, a place where you can get all your Mr. needs. Things like full Mr. setups, accessories, IO boards, and more. Now let's get to the news. Taki Uran posted images of the triple stack. That is the three boards that will make a complete Mr. setup. Those three boards are the DE10 Nano Alternative itself, the USB board, and the I.O. board. The I.O. board looks to be the latest version that can be converted between analog I.O. and digital I.O. board. This is possible through the use of the AV board, which you can also see in the image. The post also tells us that these boards are still in mass production. The previous date that was given on when these boards will be on sale has come and gone, and there is currently no update on when these boards will go on sale. Here are a couple of useful questions that users asked and Taki answered. One question was, will the add-on boards work with my Terrasic brand E10 Nano, or do they only work with your clone? And Taki said they will work with Terrasic branded D10 Nanos. Another question asked if it will output 24-bit analog video, and Taki confirmed that it will output 24-bit. That's because it is using the latest revision of the I.O. board. Taki also gave a little information on keeping these boards in stock. A person asked, do you anticipate that availability will be limited and sell out really fast analog style? If so, is there a way I could email subscribe to make sure I don't miss the launch? And Taki responds with, this first batch will probably sell out. I'm fine either way to be honest, but this company doesn't operate on limited drop FOMO. We will restock with follow-up batches and provide ample notice of when to expect the restock. I'll post when the email page is ready. QM Tech posted some images of a complete Mr. FPGA setup using their DE10 Nano alternative board. The setup has VGA, audio output, four port USB hub, snack, keys, and LEDs, all put together in a case. I have one of their DE10 Nano alternative boards with me and I've been testing it this past week, so I also plan on getting these boards and case. One of the reasons why this video is short is because I've been working all week testing out this board. And if you want some quick thoughts on their DE10 Nano alternative, then you can check out Koala Koa's post, giving us some quick thoughts. One thing that I really agree with with Koala Koa is that the power supply seems really cheap. And also QM Tech is now selling another DE10 Nano alternative with built-in SD RAM. The post is a little confusing because it says dual SD RAM. But reading the comments, it looks like what they mean is that their built-in SD RAM module is using two chips, and those chips will give you 128 megabytes of SD RAM. You can still populate one of the GPIO ports with another SD RAM module to get the dual RAM setup. So that's it for this episode. Please also try to support Sorge, the maintainer of the Mr. Project, and other Mr. developers and contributors on support platforms such as Patreon and Ko-fi. Their hard work allows us to enjoy this amazing project. I also provided links to all my sources in the description. Make sure to also check out RetroRGB.com to see my Mr. News videos in blog form and to get more retro-related content. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and this bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll speak to you next time.